All right, we wanted to show you how to use the annotate over desktop, uh, annotate over PDF feature in Google Classroom. So we have our Google Classroom app open here. Now notice that there's no address bar up here at the top and that our stream classwork and people are down at the bottom. That is because we are using the Classroom app, which is in the white circle, not the Classroom web page that is accessible by going to classroom.google.com. The annotate over PDF feature is only available in the app. It is not available in the web version, so you need to make sure you're doing that. So real quickly, we're going to add an assignment here, and we will call it PDF. I'm going to do the teacher side on my screen, and then Vanessa is going to show you the annotate from a student side, and we're going to go back and forth so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to add a uh, PDF to this that is in my Google Drive. Right, I've been told by a reliable source that uh, this or that is going around the Facebook messages and uh, the instanets and the, the snapgrams and all those kinds of things. So uh, we're going to do a this or that uh, with our students so that they can choose between two different things. So I've got my assignment all set to go. We're not going to put a due date on it. We'll actually make it an ungraded assignment. This is just for fun. Okay. So ungraded, no due date. Uh, you can put it in the topic if you want. We're going to hit send. Okay. So know that it's we're going to make a copy for each student because we want each student to annotate this PDF separately and turn it back in. Okay. All right, so that assignment is posted. Our students are going to go through and uh, add their PDF annotations to it, and then we'll come back on this side and show you from the teacher side what it looks like and how you can give them PDF uh, annotated feedback from your side. As a student, that wants to annotate a PDF assignment, they will also click the Google Classroom app found on the taskbar down here. Yep. I'm going yep. to open the assignment from a chemistry class. It's titled PDF. When I'm here, I'll double click the PDF attachment and in the upper right hand corner, there will be an annotation tool. When I click on it, the toolbar for annotation shows up on the bottom and there are several things that the students can do. There is a snipping tool to take a picture. There is an eraser. There's a pen, which you can change the color and size of. There is kind of like a paintbrush highlighter, also a text box. I'm going to start with the text box. Put my name on the assignment and click off of it to move it around. Now I'll go through and play this or that. Um, I can tell that this is a two-page assignment because of the arrow, so I have to make sure I go back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to change from the text to tools. So definitely a dog, Kermit, Giants all the way. I love pizza. Usually I would say George, but Brad looks better in this picture. And when I'm done here, I can hit the save button. There is an undo button here for the students if they make a mistake uh, in addition to the eraser tool. So when I'm done, I have to hit the save button. I have to hit the back button. This, my work will be uploading as a brand new PDF image in the assignment. And I can see that by clicking the up button. This was the original blank PDF assignment, and this is the one that I've edited. Now I'm ready to turn it into my teacher. I'm going to click turn in and resubmit. All right, we're back over here in the teacher view now, and here's the assignment that we posted earlier. So we're going to open that assignment up. We can see that one student, the LT test student, has turned in the assignment, and the two other students have yet to do that. So we can come over here to the student, and now we'll see that here's the original PDF, and any time somebody saves annotations to a PDF, it's going to save it as an additional copy. So this one here is the student one that has all of the students' annotations in it. So I'm going to open it up, and what I will see is a little pencil up here. 
that allows me to go in and edit. I'll see all the changes that that person made. So we can see all the ones that um, Vanessa circled. Okay. And then what we can do is we can take the pen and click edit. And now I'm going to use the stylus that's on this particular Chromebook. And we'll use a purple pen and we can make additional comments. Again, we can go to the second page. All right, so now if I want to, I can click the save button in the upper right hand corner here and it will save these comments and give them to the student. Now those comments that I just saved only go to that one student. They don't go to all the students. And you can see we now have an edited, edited template. Okay, at any point in time, um, oops, sorry, didn't mean to click on that. Um, you can click the X to remove any PDF that is part of that assignment. So the students could have went in and removed the, theirs when they see the new one that has all of the changes. You can also type private comments here to the students. Okay, and that's how you use the annotate tool on a PDF with students.